In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get an 80 plus content optimization score every single time when using Neuron Writer. So I'll be going over all of the best practices that you need to follow to make sure your content is optimized so that you can rank on the first page of Google for whatever keyword you're going after. So to do this, we'll be writing the content using the playground mode, and then we'll be optimizing the content using Neuron Writer. Now, the first step to writing content that is SEO optimized is making sure you're choosing the right keyword. So the keyword that we're going after is how to go to law school for free. So I came across this keyword when doing research for my LSAT website, and it's how to go to law school for free. Right now, the keyword difficulty is two, which means it's easy. It has 250 clicks and it has a cost per click of $4. So that means it's a it's a fairly lucrative keyword to go after. And when I take a look at the SERP overview, there's some pretty weak websites like this website here, which only has a 6DR. And there's a couple other websites such as this one, which has a DR of 30 so as you can see here, the competition level isn't that high. Of course, it's not a high volume keyword. It's a fairly medium volume keyword, but this would be something that we can easily rank for, which means we can also easily um, increase your SEO optimization score because your SEO optimization score is going to be based upon the competitiveness of that keyword. So if you're going after a keyword that's very competitive, it'll be harder for you to get a higher content optimization score. So this, I would say, is a pretty decent keyword for us to go after. And I'm very confident that we can get an 80 or 85 plus SEO optimization score if we do the right things when writing this article. So the first thing that I did was I started to write the article using my SEO prompts. If you want to check out these prompts, I'll leave it in the description below today's video. But all you have to do is copy over the prompts within the system. Then you copy over the prompt to generate the outline and you just enter the keyword in which you're going after, which is how to go to law school for free. And then the AI will generate your outline for you. I am using Jupyter 4 Turbo. Now, after the outline, I told the AI to generate the full article using my prompt. But what I did was I entered that keyword, which is how to go to law school for free on Neuron Writer. And then I scrolled all the way down to the terms in article, or it can be the terms in header. And I copied over all of the list of terms. So what I did was I copied over all the keywords that we need to include within this article if we would like to rank for that specific keyword, the target keyword which we're going after, and then variations of that keyword. So I simply copied over the list of keywords and I entered that within this specific prompt. So sometimes I like to actually enter it within the prompt to generate the full article because the AI will follow those instructions a little bit better compared to if we have it within the system. Now, another additional method in which you can do is you can copy over your keyword, especially I would recommend this if you're going after a harder keyword, we can paste that into Google. And then what we can do is we can start extracting some of the top headings, the top topics or the top outlines that these blog posts are using within their articles. So because we know that these articles are ranking, what we can do is we can take some of the um, some of the things that they've done to help us rank better. So what I would do is I would open up some of the top ranked blog posts, hit control A, you need to have the Harpa AI Chrome extension. If you don't have it, just head over to harpa.ai and you can download it. It is a really, really useful Chrome extension. So once we have the Harpa AI Chrome extension popped up, we can then go ahead and click page and we can ask it to extract the main outline, the main H1, H2 headers from this blog post. So I'm going to keep the prompt pretty simple and just tell it to extract the main outline from this blog post. So once it's went ahead and extracted that outline, you can then go ahead and repeat this process for at least three or four of the top ranked blog posts. We can then copy over these outlines. And before we actually go ahead and generate the full article, we can tell the AI to merge the outline that it just created with the outlines that we found from the top ranked blog post. So that means you're gonna have a more comprehensive blog post because you're not only using the information that the AI came up with, we're also combining that with outlines that we got from some of the top ranked blog posts. So if you're having troubles with increasing your content optimization score, that is a method in which you can use to help you get a more SEO optimized article because you'll be covering all of your bases. So I didn't do that within this method, but it's something that you can definitely try out for yourself. And I've done some videos on that before, so I'll leave a link for those in the description below. So once you're happy with your outline, then again, all you have to do is enter the prompt to turn it the full article. I've went ahead and copied over all of the keywords from Neuron Writer, and those keywords are now within this section. And then we can just tell the AI to simply generate the content. As you can see here, it generated the full article. 
And then what I did was I told it to keep the same style, same format, but just expand the blog post to include more relevant information. And to do this, I use GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K because again, um, we already have a nice article set up. All it does is it expands the article. So this is the full article that we got back from the playground mode. It is about 1600 words, which is pretty decent. So let's go ahead and copy this over and we're gonna paste this into Neuron Writer and see what is a content optimization score. Before we continue the tutorial, I wanna let you guys know that my AI Writing Mastery course is now open. There is a $297 discount for the month of January. So if you wanna check it out, check it out in the description below. It is absolutely the best course that you can find to use AI to write better articles and blog posts. I go over a bunch of strategies that I do not mention on this channel. It's exclusively on my AI writing course. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link for that course in the description below today's video. Now let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so we actually have to first go ahead and convert this into Markdown. So I've already went ahead and done that. So just go ahead and copy over the Markdown content, paste it in. And here we can see we have a content optimization score of 61 right off the bat, which is really, really good. So now we need to create our title and our meta description. I'm gonna use GPT-4 Turbo to generate the title and a meta description. So I've told it to generate an SEO optimized title and made a description for this keyword. So let's go ahead and copy over our title first. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're gonna head that into the title section here. We probably will have to change this up a little bit, but let's first just copy over the content. Okay, now we're gonna paste this in there. So let's go ahead and add some of these keywords. So achieve your legal dreams. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and save and close. So as you can see, we're already at a 79. So we haven't done any additional optimizations. We've just copied over everything that we got from, um, from ChatGPT or the playground mode into um, Neuron Writer. And we already have a 79. So that's a really, really good sign. So now all we have to do is a little bit of a manual optimization. So for example, we need to include go to law school. Okay, so I've added in how to go to law school for free. I'm gonna add in the same sentence within our meta description. Okay, so now we've added in that keyword and we're already up to an 82. So if we wanted to, what we could do now is we can um, we can optimize our H1 term and that usually does a good job of giving us a higher optimization score. So for example, we need to add in tuition and attend law school. Okay, so I've added in tuition and attend law school. So we should get a bump here. So we've got a one bump, we're at 83. Um, let's go ahead and see what else we can do here. So that's H1. We can actually add, add in for free here. So let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, so now we can go ahead and play around with our H2s. So may also like law school for free. Okay, so I've added in some keywords into the H2s and obviously you wanna optimize it so it's more natural, but I'm just wanting to show you guys um, exactly how you can do so. so. So again, I'm just adding in some keywords here into the H2s. And as you can see, we already have a content optimization score of 85. And currently this is the most optimized content compared to all of the top ranked blog posts so number one in google is 78 the medium is 60 but the highest of all selected competitors is 84. so right now according to neuron writer we have the most seo optimized article on this topic so you can be very confident that this article will actually rank on Google and this article is SEO optimized. So those are some of the methods in which you can use to make sure that the content that you're creating when you're using the playground mode, you're using ChatGPT or any AI writer to make sure that the content is SEO optimized. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. I will be posting this on my website and I'll be testing it and tracking it to see actually how it does in terms of the SERP rankings. But as always, if you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.